what we're looking for is a commitment to keep warming well below two degrees. We are calling for industrialised countries as a group to take targets of more than 40%. I work for Climate Action Network International, which is a coalition of 500 environmental NGOs across the world. Um, we represent almost 95 countries, both in the developed and developing world. And we're here to do our best to lobby, to advocate, and to press for the fact that we get a fair, ambitious, and binding deal coming out of Copenhagen. That is going to stand us in good stead for the planet and help us keep global warming well below 2 degrees. There's no doubt that uh, in, in our mind as a group, a working group from Cannes, that red will be in the final agreement in one form or another. We just want it in the right form, right. Uh, with the right words, mm -hmm. with the right concepts and so forth. Every once in a while you'll hear a, a report questioning the science or doubting the science well, it's very easy for a layperson with the internet today. When I read that, I go check it out and I find out these people are, are, are their institutions are funded directly and often indirectly from the gas companies, the oil companies, the coal companies. So that, that group doesn't care. But the scientists really, really understand the issue. It's fascinating history and I and others rely on that, and then we move ahead and say, what is really happening, not so much for me as an individual, I'm a grandfather, you can see that I'm not a youngster like so many wonderful people around here, and I'm concerned about the future generations. Acompanhando dois anos as negociações, então desde Bali e era todo mundo falava Copenhague, Copenhague. E finalmente eu tô aqui, praticamente o mundo inteiro vai estar tá aqui. É a sensação por enquanto é surreal e eu espero que realmente saia um acordo nos moldes que a sociedade civil defende que é um acordo justo, legalmente vinculante e ambicioso. O Brasil é um dos líderes ambientais. A, a participação dele nessas negociações é muito importante porque ele serve como um, um mediador entre os países desenvolvidos e os países em desenvolvimento. E tem a novidade, desde dezembro o Brasil apresentou a posição dele para as negociações, que foi a primeira vez que o Brasil aceitou falar em obje objetivos voluntários de redução de emissões. Música